What's up fellow Cubase users? This is Jeff with online Cubase tutorials. And today I thought I would give you a quick rundown on how to use VCV rack inside of Cubase. If you're not familiar with VCV rack, what that is, is a modular synthesizer that you can run in your computer. It's a virtual modular synthesizer. And there's a ton of modules that it comes with. And there's uh, you know, you're only limited by Ram and CPU. So you can really build some crazy modular, patches um, and it's a great way to learn audio uh, sound design and, and synthesis because um, you can start with just you know an oscillator and an output then you can add in a filter you can add in multiple oscillators and LFOs and envelopes and there's all kinds of crazy stuff and the cool part is obviously it comes with a bunch of stuff and then um, it also has uh, like from mutable instruments it's got like braids and clouds and all the like main main ones from from mutable they're called audible instruments in here but it's pretty much the same exact electrical wiring specs are, are implemented in software for here and they've got a handful from bifaco and there's some other ones too so um it's it's a growing community it's it's a really fun way to uh to mess around on the computer you can rabbit hole on a on a modular patch for a long time so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to download the mac or windows version it's a standalone program and install that and then you're going to install the uh, VST host so download that guy and install that and then once you have that done um, you're going to scan your plugins in Cubase you're going to launch uh, VCV rack and you can see here I've got a patch that I built um, for this track that I'm working on and uh, it's it's not too difficult once you get set up there's a, so, some training online for it but, but most, most of it's not Cubase related um, so uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, set this up and get this going so you can hear uh, the sounds and, and route it through Cubase. And so you're going to launch, you're going to download those, the, the program, install the program in the host, launch, launch the program. Um, you can see I've got it going here in my Cubase project. It's not too difficult to do. Basically, all you got to do is uh, you'll come in here and you'll add a rack instrument and pick the VCV bridge. And um, so I'm not going to add it because I've already added it right here, VCV BRD64. And it's a regular MIDI uh, MIDI VST like any other. The only difference is that um, what you're going to do is you're going to set, uh, it'll create a MIDI track and a soundtrack. It's, um, it's probably a little easier if I put this up here where it belongs. Um, embedded in this VCV bridge. Um, and so we're looking at, we're looking at these three uh tracks here i have um i actually have two you're gonna get you're gonna get one midi and one audio and so the way this works let me uh unmute everything but the way this works um you get the audio or get sorry get the midi from your midi interface in this case i'm using a novation impulse and you're going to target the vcv bridge just like any other vst channel one and then you're going to go into VCV rack. You're going to right click and type core C O R E and use a MIDI one. And that's what pops up right here. And then you'll set the driver to be bridge. And so it's going to get the MIDI information from the bridge, which is what you put in the plugin in Cubase port one channel one. That's all you need to do. And then in order to actually make some sounds, you have to route the CV to an to an oscillator in this case i have i have it routed to um three three different places you can see it's going to this octaver which goes to this vco so this is a built-in um or actually from bog audio they're they're simple via vco and then i have another uh, patch going into the resonator this is a uh, mutable instruments i think it's i think it may be braids i can't remember now um, and then I have this car plus strong, uh, which is doing a square wave. It's pretty like, you know, somebody made the bacon music, made this, this one for car plus strong. I was, you know, experimenting with the different oscillators. Um, and this is a lot like reason, right? You can just, you know, drag this anywhere you want. So you can patch this, uh, however you'd like. And then obviously the output of this is going into an, a VCF, which is a filter. And then, uh, the output of the um, filter is going into a mixer. I have a little um, a, a tenuverter from Bifaco here. 
And um, I put a scope in here so just so you could see it. Now, the cool thing is that even though Cubase is in the background right now, um, let me double check this, but if I have it set to the MIDI channel, we can hear it. And the sound is coming in from the uh, VCV rack on this audio channel. So it works just like any other VST. You just have to be running a standalone program. Um, and that bridge makes that possible. So it's really cool. It's, it's a it's a really cool program. You can, you know, organize your rack how you want. It's a little bit limited, but I mean, hey, it's free. So can't really complain too much. You know, just um, save the patch there. Um, but you can see here I've got um, the CV, which is the control voltage. That's the, the note itself, like C1 or C8. Um, the gate is how long the note stays open and or like from note on to note off the velocity is triggering the, you know, oscillator here, uh, mod wheel, you can see the mod wheel I have, I think going over to the frequency and, or the resonator. Um, so you can experiment with this, this is a, an envelope generator and that's pretty much the whole patch here. And what, with that selected in Cubase, um, even though it's even though uh, Cubase is in the background here, you can see it wasn't sounding because I have the sound channel selected. But if I select the MIDI channel, you go back here. So it's a lot of fun, and um, it's really not hard to do, and it's a free free plugin. Um, it's actually a free software to download. It's open source, and it's a free um, plugin that VST Bridge. So um, one other thing I wanted to show you that's pretty cool is. Um, it, if you uh, have trouble, if you're new to modular synthesis, it's not not super simple to get started. There's a, there's a pretty big learning curve because you're actually, you know, wiring up all these modules to make sounds. But you can go over to uh, patchstorage.com and sign up for a, uh, an account here and then pick VCV rack. And there's people who have, you know, uploaded their uh, their favorite patches. So you can you can scroll through here and listen to it and then download that that patch for VCV rack and then open it up and, and use it and tweak it in your, in your music. So that's about it. Have fun. And, uh, let me know if you, uh, found this, found this useful in the, in the comments and, uh, we'll see you next time.